Today we will embark on a journey through time to explore how women of the upper classes were educated in past eras. Their education extended beyond mere formalities, encompassing a wide range of skills that highlighted their elegance and virtue. Let's discover 10 essential skills these women possessed, skills that are still of great value to the contemporary woman in her pursuit of elegance, femininity, and beauty in everyday life. It's remarkable that, despite advancements over time, many skills from the past remain extremely relevant today. They provide a deep connection to ancestral traditions and can add a touch of refinement and satisfaction to our daily lives. Therefore, I invite you to dive into these timeless skills and discover how they can enrich your pursuit of elegance, femininity, and beauty. Before we proceed, it is essential to emphasize that these tips are merely suggestions, not inflexible rules. They serve as a source of inspiration for those who wish to adopt a classic and traditional approach to education. Enjoy and subscribe to the channel and leave that like. Let's begin this journey. Number 1. Reading and Writing Reading and writing have been fundamental pillars in the education of women throughout history. In the past, access to formal education was more restricted for women, but those who had the opportunity to learn to read and write were seen as exceptional. Writing was considered a valuable tool for recording knowledge, preserving traditions, and communicating with future generations. Reading, in turn, played a crucial role in expanding the female cultural repertoire, allowing for the exploration of new ideas, perspectives, and horizons. In modern times, reading continues to be an unquestionable part of women's education. It not only provides access to a vast array of knowledge, but also enriches cultural repertoire. Through reading, women can travel to distant worlds, past eras, and various cultures, thus broadening their understanding of the world. Literature offers a window into the wide range of human experiences, providing deep insights into human nature, society, and the complexities of life. By expanding their cultural repertoire through reading, women have the opportunity to become more informed and aware citizens, capable of making significant contributions to their communities and society as a whole. It is a powerful means of personal growth and an essential pillar in the development of well-informed, critical and participative women. The importance of reading and writing in women's education is indisputable. They not only open doors to comprehensive and diverse knowledge, but also serve as crucial tools for personal growth and the empowerment of women. Through reading, women can broaden their horizons, better understand society, and develop a more critical and participative view of the world. This is a legacy worth continuing and celebrating. For those interested in exploring some inspiring readings, I will indicate in the first pinned comment a list of some of my favorite books that are truly enriching and worth reading. Number 2. Etiquette Historically, etiquette was a crucial component in the education of women from higher classes, especially in the royal courts and aristocratic societies of earlier centuries. Representing a non-verbal language, it expressed respect, distinction, and social position. Women were instructed in the subtleties of etiquette, acquiring skills to behave appropriately in various social settings, from banquets and balls to formal ceremonies. Knowledge such as the correct timing for a curtsy, the proper handling of a fan, or the appropriate attire for each occasion was fundamental. Over time, these norms have evolved, but the ability to move with grace and respect in social interactions remains a valuable asset. Modern etiquette encompasses not only good table manners, but also effective communication skills, empathy, and consideration for others. Knowing how to behave in environments such as business meetings, social events, and even on social media can significantly strengthen our relationships. Therefore, etiquette goes beyond a set of strict rules. It is a manifestation of our respect for others and a means to establish positive relationships. By learning and practicing modern etiquette, we honor the traditions of the past while adapting to the dynamics of the contemporary world, standing out with elegance and courtesy in everyday life. Number 3. Mastery of Foreign Languages The ability to speak languages beyond one's mother tongue has always been essential for ladies throughout history, especially in royal courts and high society. It was common for women to learn foreign languages, partly due to the need for diplomatic communication as they often married nobles from other countries. Furthermore, the study of foreign languages provided expanded access to literature, culture, and knowledge from various regions of the world. Today, the importance of studying foreign languages is even more evident in a globalized world. The ability to communicate in multiple languages opens doors to educational, professional, and personal opportunities. 
allowing for a deeper understanding of different cultures and facilitating communication in an international environment. Beyond being a practical skill, learning foreign languages is also an enriching and rewarding experience, expanding horizons and increasing understanding and empathy among people from different backgrounds. The study of foreign languages is not just a means of communication, but also a bridge to connect cultures, understand different perspectives, and create a more united and understanding world. Mastering other languages is a valuable skill that continues to be an important part of education and personal development, helping women to stand out in a diverse global landscape. Number 4. Culinary Arts Cooking is one of the oldest and most universal skills of humanity playing an essential role in women's education throughout history. Traditionally, women were taught in the culinary arts, a central aspect of their roles as caretakers of the home and family. In many cultures, passing down recipes, techniques, and culinary secrets from generation to generation was a precious practice, essential for preserving the culture and identity of a community. Today, the skill of cooking remains highly valued not just for its practical side, but also for its cultural and social significance. Preparing a meal goes beyond nourishing the body. It's a way to express creativity, care, and love. Cooking at home gives women control over the ingredients and the possibility to opt for healthier choices, fostering a balanced lifestyle. Furthermore, sharing homemade meals with family and friends creates unforgettable moments of unity and celebration. Cooking is relevant not just for the practice itself, but also as a means of personal and cultural expression. Mastering the culinary arts not only confers independence in food selection, but also enriches life with distinctive flavors and priceless memories. Remember, cooking is a continuous journey of learning and a wonderful opportunity to care for one's own health and the well-being of the family. Number 5. Religion. Religion has always played a central role in the educational formation of women, particularly in societies where faith played a crucial role in everyday life. In earlier times, many women were instructed in their respective faiths from an early age, attending churches, temples, or other places of worship. The religious education aimed not only to transmit spiritual beliefs, but also to inculcate moral and ethical principles which influenced women's behavior in their communities and families. In modern times, religion still maintains a significant role in the lives of many women. For those who follow a specific faith, it offers spiritual guidance, moral values, and a sense of belonging to a community. Furthermore, the search for meaning and spirituality is a personal journey that spans generations. Many contemporary women find comfort and direction in their religious beliefs and religion can be a decisive factor in shaping their lives and choices. Historically and currently, religion is fundamental in women's education. Faith can be the basis for the development of virtues such as compassion, generosity, and empathy. Regardless of religious affiliation, spirituality plays a significant role in the lives of countless women. Thus, understanding religious traditions and how they can contribute to our lives is a crucial aspect of classical and traditional education. Ladies, I started watching some videos here on YouTube that I have enjoyed a lot about messages that God sends through angels. I will leave the link to a channel that I liked in the description of this video. Number 6. Music and Art Music and visual arts have been crucial elements in human culture, playing vital roles throughout history. Traditionally, women have had a significant participation in both creating and appreciating these forms of expression. In royal courts and aristocratic societies of the past, Women's education often included music and visual arts, enriching not only their personal lives, but also contributing to the cultural landscape of their communities. Music and art functioned as means of emotional and creative expression, as well as serving to preserve history and cultural identity. In today's world, music and art continue to be sources of inspiration and enrichment for women, whether in appreciation or practice, these arts offer a refuge from the hectic pace of modern life, allowing for a deep connection with emotions and the exploration of creativity. Music, with its ability to transcend linguistic and cultural barriers, provides a universal language for expressing intimate feelings. Similarly, visual art allows us to communicate ideas, perspectives, and beauty in a unique and personal way. Learning to play a musical instrument or dedicating oneself to painting, for example, can be an extremely rewarding journey. Music and art connect us with our inner selves, fostering self-expression and offering a creative outlet. Regardless of skill level, 
Music and art are powerful means to enrich life, enhance the personal journey in pursuit of elegance and self-knowledge. Number seven, sewing. The art of sewing is an ancient practice deeply rooted in the history of humanity. In ancient societies, sewing was an essential and highly valued skill often passed down from mother to daughter. Weaving and sewing were not only means of producing functional clothing and accessories, but also played an important role in cultural expression and the identity of a people. Women were tasked with creating garments that reflected the fashion trends of their time, while simultaneously maintaining the traditions of their communities. In the contemporary world, sewing maintains its relevance adapting to the current needs of society. Besides providing savings by repairing clothes or creating unique pieces, sewing allows women to express their creativity. Making personalized clothing and accessories offers the opportunity to showcase one's own style and create items that fit perfectly to the body. Moreover, sewing is an effective way to recycle and reduce textile waste, contributing to a more sustainable lifestyle. The skill of sewing continues to be a valuable element in classic education for women seeking elegance and self-sufficiency. If you are interested in this topic, try learning some sewing techniques, from basic stitches to more complex projects. You will discover that sewing can be a therapeutic activity and a form of creative expression. Through it, women can create unique pieces, laden with history and meaning, keeping alive a timeless tradition that links the past to the present. I am a fan of sewing. I'm always creating my own looks. Number eight, political skills. Throughout history, political acumen was crucial in the education of princesses and queens. In royal courts, it was common for women of the nobility to receive education in political matters, diplomacy, and governance. This training was essential as many of them assumed leadership roles as reigning queens or influential adversaries. Political education prepared these women not only to take power but also to make informed and strategic decisions with significant impacts on the destinies of nations. In contemporary times, politics continues to be a crucial field of knowledge, regardless of gender. Understanding political systems, decision-making processes, and citizenship is fundamental in any society. There are various ways to delve into political knowledge. Participating in courses, seminars, and workshops on politics is an excellent way to acquire relevant knowledge. Additionally, engaging in political debates, participating in civic organizations, and keeping up with political news and developments are valuable practices. Political skill is not just about power and influence. It's also about understanding how decisions made by leaders affect everyday life and the well-being of the community. Developing a political understanding allows women to be more conscious, informed, and engaged in their society, contributing to a better and more equitable future. Number nine, philosophy and literature. These fields of knowledge offer women unique opportunities to explore complex concepts, expand their understanding of the world, and nurture their critical thinking abilities. Throughout history, literature has been a powerful medium for women to access different perspectives and experiences. By delving into literary works, women can find inspiration, empathy, and also enhance their communication and expression skills, fundamental for the effective articulation of ideas and opinions. On the other hand, philosophy opens up space for deep reflection on existential, ethical, and moral questions. It encourages women to question the world around them, develop sharp, critical thinking, and seek answers to life's big questions. Philosophy not only provides a solid foundation for logical thinking, but also aids in making informed decisions. Thus, both philosophy and literature are fundamental to the intellectual and personal development of women, allowing them a richer and more varied understanding of life in themselves. These fields of study are powerful tools for cultivating an open, curious, and reflective mind, contributing to personal growth and the ability to actively participate in the cultural and intellectual conversations of their time. Number 10. Gardening. Traditionally, gardening skills were an essential part of some women's education. They not only tended to their gardens with skill and dedication, but also possessed a deep knowledge of plants, flowers, and the natural cycle. Gardening, more than a hobby, was a way to strengthen the connection with the earth and nature. Today, gardening skills continue to be of great value. The practice of gardening offers the chance to cultivate healthy foods, create enchanting outdoor spaces, and contribute to the preservation of biodiversity. To develop gardening skills, you can start with simple projects at home, 
such as growing herbs, flowers, or vegetables. Participating in gardening classes or community groups can provide practical knowledge and opportunities for collaborative learning. Gardening is more than just taking care of plants. It's an activity that nourishes both body and soul, connecting us with nature and providing a sense of peace and satisfaction. It allows women to actively engage in creating and maintaining a healthy and sustainable environment while enjoying the therapeutic benefits of working with the earth. Ladies, besides, a house with plants looks beautiful and full of life, doesn't it? I hope you have found inspiration and knowledge in this video. If you like the content and want to continue exploring themes like elegance, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give a like to this video. It helps a lot in spreading the word and allows more people to benefit from these valuable insights. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.